Hey up everyone and welcome back to the north for the next early access update with the Iron Oath. Today we're going to be checking it out again with the expeditions update which happened yesterday. Usually there's a bit of a time gap between us checking this out with the updates within early access but they've absolutely sprung expeditions on us very quickly since Tales by the Fire which I'm very happy to go with. They have also announced that they're going to be leaving early access and going into 1.0 as of November the 2nd. We'll see how it sticks with that date going forward but it'll be cool to see that in the next month but today we're gonna to be checking out expeditions and the changes from what i gather there's a lot more events there's a lot more company moments and there is now effectively famed gear which can drop from two skull contracts and then upwards obviously i'm gathering the higher the skulls the higher the chance you can get famed items but we do have a few contracts from last time we played this to finish off first and foremost so i'm just going to go and sort these out very quickly and then we actually already have a free score contract to deal with up here so i am definitely going to go and deal with that and hopefully just because i've taken it before the update happened there's still a chance that there will be some famed gear i don't know if they say legendary i think it is still famed it does sound like that uh Oh, we've already got one of our first company moments. So one thing they've also done is they've made it so like everyone's like attributes, um, how everyone is as a person, like if they're brave, if they're a coward, so on and so forth. It comes into the company moments a lot more, which feels a lot nicer. There's a lot more nuances to the game already. So our scouts tell you there's a group of Norbies, just the head kid. He wears an arm out. I suppose we've wandered their territory. Shall we ready for troops or would you prefer to steer clear of them? I will object to a fight, says Rust. They might be ancients, but those creatures are more than a nuisance, because he's brave. Well, ready yourself, we attack at once. You heard Rust, everyone, we're going to go attack. We gain five of the citizens of Aetherton, very good. Little, little ones like that'll be quite nice. I think we can only get famed items from two skull, like, caves and dungeons. I don't think we can get them from just fights. I could be wrong, though. We're about to find out. So, let's go Theodore, let's go Rust. Let's go Cyrus, because you've almost leveled up. Hilda's almost leveled up as well, which is great. And I'll pick Adira just so we can get her up to at least level 5, maybe. Fingers crossed. Cool. It's nice to be back in the saddle so quickly as well. I keep thinking about it. I'm like, man, we only played this like a month ago when we finished off covering Tales by a Fire. And yeah, we're already back. So very happy with that. They don't seem like super high level. They look like they're super far away anyway. So you know what? Let's just deal with this group very, very quickly if we can. Although they might be a little bit too far away, but I guess we're about to find that out. Let's go from there. I don't think I recall hearing this. So I might, I might just be also misremembering. So wet and water, that's fine. Off you go, Rust. It's not going to matter. It's only one fight. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh, no. No, never mind. Uh, I don't think... I think the tree is going to be in the way, but if you go there... Unfortunately, kill his dog. As long as he doesn't go completely John Wick on us, we should be all right. And these guys are going to be so far away from us anyway, this shouldn't be an issue. Is he too far away to... Oh, no. Oh, still as brutal as ever. You love to see it. Okay, so what is your distance like? So if you go there, you should be all right. I don't think you can hit them from where you are, though, unfortunately. Cyclone, Conduit, Arc Lightning, yeah. So you know what, actually? Let's go a bit further back and stay out of the water, because you can just chain lightning or water as well, which would be very handy. Let's just defend up, and let's wait, wait for them to come to us. Let's see if they get any reinforcements at the same time. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the Three Skull Dungeon works and see if we get any goodies today. That'd be quite cool. I'd like to see it. You'd love to see it. Uh, Rust, you're a bit far away and we are going to be coming in, but I guess stay around this area for now. There's not really much point moving in and a boot. Let's get you down there as well, Dira. I think it's just going to be a waiting game just to see where they're going to sit and stand, because let's see how far can you guys move. I think I can keep you out just saying that. Can you actually hit them? No. Okay, this is waiting game the event. Let's see if I can hit them from there, maybe. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Let's get you there in preparation just in case they become a problem. Although they don't seem super interested in pushing on. I think they've also changed how the codex works a little bit as well. I feel like... Um, it's not going to work so much in this case because we've already discovered quite a lot of enemies, but I don't think enemies appear in the Codex anymore if 
we haven't seen them or there's not enough information there's not more information on them until we've actually dealt with them i could also be a little bit wrong on that as well i haven't checked it myself it might be one thing to check after this yeah close not quite oh that's fine yeah do that do that every day mate i don't mind it seal the deal and then if you can stand there or oh, water hmm. I don't like the accuracy drop. I guess I'll stand there. Yeah, I don't really like that either, to be honest. Maybe just Cyclone. Just get out of the way. That should be fine. It's enough damage. She's she's fine. Hilda's fine. She takes damage all the time. Mostly. No, oh, she's less fine. Okay, we're joking. Wow, they, they, they've got some serious reinforcements coming in. Never mind. Right, Rust, off you go. Got to go on an adventure now. Let's see. Can you get there and shoot twice? Oh, yeah. Not even a problem. Maybe fly away, Hilda. Maybe fly away. Everything's fine, he says. Yeah, maybe not. I could actually maybe skewer them. Yeah, that'll kill her. Maybe don't do that. If we can make it, so where would this go? The end anyway. It's not gonna matter. Good, a thirty percent not working out. Can I hit them both with sweeping spear? No, but I can do this. You know what? I'll take it. I think Hilda will take an attack just so she got that cool little thing. And plus, I can now just do this, so this should be fine. See ya. Right, not an issue. On to the next, although they are miles away. I don't think we're going to be getting any closer anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just guard up. Uh, I don't think we've got a healer on us. We've got Rainfall, but uh, let me just wait for a second. I need to get her out of the, uh, the bad vibes, you could say. God, you guys are barely moving. Come on now. Give me something to work with. Right, and then if we Rainfall here... Not that it's going to matter too much anyway, because this is only a one-time... My god, there's still enemies! Bloody hell. Alright. Maybe you can overwatch, although hopefully they will come a little bit closer. This is the point where we just won't. Wait. Uh, get here and wait, I'd say. What are you guys going to do? God, it's almost like they know there's an overwatch going on, so they won't go any closer to it, eh? The absolute goal. Some, sometimes. Ah, screw it. Let's go Kyle Ken. All right. And then if we go... Oh, really? Is he too far away? Well, I guess you might as well use it on there, even though it's less damage. Hook, line, and or sinker. Can I not just attack him? Oh, can I? Good job, Cyrus. Uh, 281 should be all right. Just go there, and I would say you could take flight, but it's going to just guard up. Bloody hell. They just keep coming, and they don't stop coming. And Russ took offense to that. Okay. Can you just stay... What's the range on that? Three. Oh, so it is like here. Can you kill one? How much health have you got? One? Ugh. What... I just... I don't know what to say. Disappointed isn't even the word at this point. Straight up unhappy. Right, let's get you... Crit again! Cyrus is on a roll! Okay, cool. And then if we get you there, Hilda, and we'll just get you guarding up. I don't think it's going to be coming back close anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Come on, Dan. Nice. And... Two this time, bloody hell. Thank you very much. God, there's a lot more going on there than I expected, but at least uh, Cyrus loved up, so that's decent enough. Adira got pretty close, and we got some scrap metal, so I'd say overall that was kind of worth it. I would call, I would call that a win. Uh, and Codex entries unlocked, right? Yes. So if I now go to the old Codex, I wonder if it'll tell me the specific Codexes that have been unlocked. Oh, so 5 out of 79. Okay, so maybe the Codex has been completely reset. 
across all of the enemies that I've walked into in this entire campaign of 1,709 days have now disappeared. And I know for a fact I have not only seen these five enemies. Okay, cool. I like how it's, it just actually shows it for the creatures you've seen now. That's quite cool. And there's a bit more of a breakdown to it as well. That's good. I like that. I like the changes. Okay, let's keep going then. Let's get to Andalon. That should give enough time to people to rest up as well so we get to the well-rested state. And then we'll get up to this way here, to Jawhurst. Let's quickly enter this city here. Let's get this handed in. Thank you very much. And I'll take the stone. And I'll quickly nip to the marketplace and see if I can sell this for anything better. Sell price is pretty good, so I will I will sell it. I'll keep the coin pouch. I'll sell the stone as well. See what I can repair for seven. That's fine. Ooh, a short next loot. What have you got? you got short next loot. Oh, but a royale loot with cheese. Maybe. Um, hmm. 87. What's that? 55. That's a massive jump. 20% accuracy as well. Wow. 737. Hmm. Am I gonna... Screw it. You know what? He's like the most up-to-date class. He's like the newest class for the entire game so far. So I feel like I should, you know, spend a little, you know? Do we have anyone who needs armor? At least everyone's got a bit of armor at the moment. So I feel like that's uh, fine. If I quickly go into the characters, I'll level up Cyrus in a second. And Hilda, because she did tip over the edge at the very end there by the looks of things. Arnold, here you go. Have a new loot. I'm sure you'll enjoy it very much. I also need to figure out what to do with those scrolls. Cyrus, let's get you leveled up, my friends. Let's see what we can do. I've already added your evasion slightly, so let's get that there. I've got eight attributes to go, so let's get your critical up. No wonder you're critting a lot more. And then three to go, so let's add it into your health. And then I can upgrade... I do like t upgrading Tempest. And range is very good, but strike potency... I'm going to go strike potency. Let's do that. And then Hilda, power up. And then let's power up again. And then health would be cool, but you don't specialize in it. You've got five, so let's actually increase your evasion. I'd say ten is pretty good. I'd call that a win. And then if we go sweeping spear would be really good if it actually would just it added like an extra bit. Ooh, targets are marked. That's quite good. Weaken for two rounds. Additional additional charge is always quite good. Ooh, that's exactly what I just said that I wanted. So I guess I'm going down this route. All right, give me the additional charge. We'll slowly make our way down that way. I'm going to quickly go to the marketplace. I'll sell our old loot so we're not completely losing money. We're on three and a half grand. That's not too bad. Gear durability. I don't think there's anything. Masterwork. Masterwork would be the worst thing to do, but he's already got two spots already taken up, as you can see by the two little circles that are already filled in. So I can't really do much with that. Uh, is this anywhere going to Jawhurst? Nope, not interested. See you later. Let me quickly nip to the end and rest. If they don't need to, that's great. I'll buy a round then. Make everyone slightly happier. And then I don't think I want anyone from here. So let's get over to Jawhurst very quickly, which is literally just up the road. Let's get on over that. Well, I say just up the road. It's 11 days away. How much is the money going? It's on like over three grand. I'd say that's pretty decent. I sent it to the city where they absolutely love us here and get this handed in. Yeah, for the oils and wax, I gather that'll be 275 is the payments. Looks good. Glad we could do business. Likewise. And now we've got to run on back to Atherton. But whilst I'm here, it would be rude not to check out the marketplace. Oh, wow. Okay. So what's that? Pristine medium. So we've got epic medium, which is 16, where pristine's 18. So it's a bit of an upgrade. And that's masterwork medium, which is 21. Ooh. And then there's the halberds. What are we working with currently? A trading sword. Oh, God. Okay. Well, epic is a bit better than rare, so let's keep that one. Could do with some better swords, but I'm not really seeing them anywhere, to be honest. Uh, Epic Light is fine there. That's fine for Pristine Light as well. Rosalind could probably do with, like, the level of Mela, maybe. That wouldn't be a bad shout. But if I'm gonna get, if I'm gonna spend 500, I might as well spend 800. Screw it. Screw it. We've got money. Why not blow it on everything? Although I probably will give it to someone who is a little bit, what's that, defensive eight. Let me give it to Burnett because she's been around for a while. Well, she's actually a little bit more used. Yeah, do that. And then if I go to Rosalind, let's switch to that. And then I've got an Epic Light, but I'm not really going to use it unless it's better than Pristine Light, which it ain't. What's that? Masterwork Light. That's 10. Yeah, I don't think I've got anything worse or better to switch it out with. So let me just quickly sell that off and then we'll get back to Atherton. 
hand that bad boy in, which should give us another bit of a payday. Hopefully so, because we're now in the middling 2000s, which is fine. And then we'll get on over to the blacksmith's request, which is just grabbing ore. But hopefully with being a free school contract, we will see some famed stuff. It would be really cool to see how this game does famed item compared to other games with a similar structure of famed items. You know what I'm talking about. I don't need to talk. I don't need to like pretend that I'm not. Right, here's your goods. Oh, wow. Thanks. I mean, it said it doubly time, so I was like, a grand? No. And two renown points. Perfect. Now, quickly before I do that, I am just going to go and check thanks to the wood. Great wood. Let me just sell that very quickly. Uh, Epic bow 90. Okay, so the heavy war bow would be better, but man, 1,300 is pretty wild. Okay, well, let me hold off on that for a second. If I go to jobs quickly, who hasn't got a job? You've got job on a signs. Now, is there a job that somebody doesn't have that we've unlocked? No. I'm not really interested in giving people jobs that someone already has already. So let me hold off for that for the time being, and I will just use the company renown for... How much do I need to, again for another one? 450. That's not too bad. So let me have a look at this. So recruiting extra loyalty would be quite good. Clearing five days fatigue is decent as well, but we don't really use ends that much. Contract limits is okay. Gear durability is great. Uh, there is also... I've already, just already increased training dummies, haven't I? So I'm not really going to be doing much with that. Such sizes would be good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go supply lines. Because that means we can take more stuff with us down into the dungeons. And then... You know what? I'm going to go full dungeons. I think I'm going to go full dungeons. Let's just discount everything that we're basically going for. So it's much cheaper to deal with dungeons on the reg. I'm not really too worried about that. Right, let's go get this black iron ore, and let's hope we see some different things in this contract. Let's go. And hopefully people are, like, well-rested enough that we can just throw everyone in and hope for the best, but you never know. Let's go. So let's see. So is everyone well-rested? Everyone's well-rested. We've got bounty, so more likely find loot events. That might help play into it more, so I'll probably end up using someone who is helpful at finding loot and traps do double damage, so maybe someone who's good with traps as well. Let me figure out this grouping and then we'll go in. Okay, I think we've got like a fair mix of people and also a few people that weren't in the last fight. So we've got like a pick lock, we've got like a scavenger, so we should be able to find the best loot that we possibly can. I'm giving us the best ability to be able to do it effectively. Let me grab some tools. Ooh, a medium health potion, that's a little bit different. And then a stimulant, that's not bad. That's not bad. Strong ale, I'll take one strong ale instead, I'll take a bandage. Uh, I will take a single medium health potion. And then I guess I'll take a small one as well. Why not? Uh, another tool, maybe? Let's say... You know what? No, I don't think we might... I don't think we'll need it. Screw it. I'm going to need it. I'm going to take it. Uh, let's venture forth. Let's go. Okay, so what we got? So we got 49 group area. I'm going to try not use our scouting too soon. I'm going to hope that we don't just walk into a trap. No, we're just going to walk into combat straight away. It's kind of like a trap, but not quite the same thing. But hey, who am I to judge the game? Don't surprise me. Please don't surprise me. All right, cool. So we've got a corrupted wielder and a diseased wielder. Are they the regular bunch? We might as well kill the book first. He's so close that we could probably actually just pile drive this guy into, into oblivion. I assume. I'll feel kind of bad about it. Oh, wow. Someone's faster than Rust. That's weird. Well, you heard him, Rust. you got to be faster than them now. A little bit worried about being next to a hole, but it should be okay. Don't you lock my boy down. He's done nothing wrong. These guys have got a lot of health. God damn. 697. What are you on? 578. 1100. Jeez Louise. Well, in that case, can I serenade this guy and make him join our squad? That'd be nice. And then if you can just, for the time being... Ooh, nice crit coming in. Oh, he died. Nice one. And then if you come up here just to cover our loot man. Not that loot. Although, at the same time, maybe that loot. You're going to get a little bit closer, but it shouldn't be an issue. You might move, but then we should be able to handle it, I would hope. Let's just block off for the time being. Let's see what it does. Nice. Well, you won't be hurting us anymore. You're on our side now, buddy boy. I think I shouldn't need to use abilities just yet because I don't see any other enemies coming in. I don't think. Don't quote me on that. 
God damn, you've got a lot of health. Let's get to work. Melt him. I also don't think they're a... They massively like fire. They shouldn't do. They're made of... They're trees. They're made of tree. Well, let's get... You're on our side now anyway, so I can just probably loot hero this guy into oblivion, right? I just want to be a little bit careful about it. Can I hit him from there? Not quite. Let me answer the warning. That way, he's got a bit of a shield, and he can just keep wailing on this corrupted one. Which might take a hot minute. Nice block, man. Nice block. So you're in love, so let's bring Rust up here. Rust to start pile driving. Or kicking, that's fine. Alright, already showing your worth. Good job, buddy. Uh, it might be worth... When, is your over when would your Overwatch end? Until her next turn. When's your next turn? Here. So that one will have moved, but that's on our side. That one will have moved. That one will have moved. I mean, I don't think Overwatch is going to matter too much, is what I'm saying. Not that that really did much damage anyway, but hey. It still counts. I don't think there's really much to do on your end, so let me just hold that. Got a lot of stuff stacked in here. We are very backed up, you could say. <laughs> and I would say, God. Uh, let's just Infernal Pill them both. Nice. Alright, four... Not four damage. How dare... Right, well, you're off now. Get off the court. Nice one, and now, if you can use that... First arrow should kill that one, and then we can start laying into this one now. Psych, when actually your friend, you have been positively bamboozled. Well, he's still alive. And there's now a fire pit there, which is a bit problematic to say, but I now can't move past it. But if it tries to move, it will die. Oh, it's not going to get a chance to move. The man who persuaded him has taken him off the field. The three people just level up. Damn. Okay, I'm into it. Uh, well, that fight was definitely worth it. Don't mind if I do go and level literally everyone up since ever. Let's get the health up to 527. That's good. Let's get the power up. That didn't really move that much, but that's fine. And then we'll pop that into there. Let's see if I can add anything more to Fist of Fury, since it's kind of one that we go for. Claim below players damage shield for three rounds. I think I sort of played myself here a little bit, where I can't quite... Let's do that. I'll see if I can, like, finagle it a bit down the line somewhere. Theodore at level 12. God damn. Good job, buddy. And then let's add it to the crit. Speed, let's try and work on a bit, because 7.5 is not ideal by any means. You still got one upgrade point. Ability level is 6, though, so I can't do much else with that anymore. Whereas I could do Arctic Armor, which is pretty damn snazzy. Best of cold. The damage shield is active the first unit to attack. It merely suffers frost damage. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's add an additional charge. And then I'll probably just stick to this side of the uh, upgrade table more than anything. And then let's get your power up to 131. Your mending shouldn't really matter too much other than getting damage shields, so I'm not really too fussed about that. Getting your evasion up would be quite handy because you do get in a bit of a few sticky situations. Let's up your shield. Let's up your health as well. Your health is pretty bad. Let's keep going with that idea. Let's see. Restraining order. Volley is very good. You know what? I'm going to go volley. I'm going to unlock volley. And I'll even give it an extra... Yes. Actually, you know what? Yes. Armor piercing is really good. And then what else have you got? you still got an upgrade point. All right. Well, let's have a look at rapid fire. Because that is the one we use the most. Claim below grants health. Oh. Yeah. Come on, then. That's pretty decent. Right, then. Great start. Don't be a trap. You spot a tome lying ahead on the ground. Huh. An interesting companion on human anatomy. He takes another peek, cringing at an entry before snapping the book shut. Well, I don't think we need to go so far as performing surgery on each other. Some knowledge on treating common injuries won't hurt. Field medic. Perfect. Willing students for field medic. Right, let's get to this chest. I will crack it open. I'll take some extra tools. Don't be a trap. Played myself. Although deciding with tools, I will take that. I'll just use the tools I've just found. 
do not fail at 98%. With great care and expertise, Adira managed to disable the trap. Seems that we're all pretty good at disabling traps. I could probably maybe walk through here. You know what? I'm going to play it safe and go the other way. No, no, no. I know. Go this way instead. Don't worry, game. I understand what you're trying to make me do, but I'm not going that way. You come across a unique looking iron vein running across the cave walls. Looks like we've found some. This will take some time to extract. Well, these should come in handy. The process goes quicker than you'd hoped with the tools you brought with, and after a short while, you manage to extract a bit of rare ore. Right, well, that's one out of three. Let's keep rocking and rolling. What's it gonna be? You stop for a moment, overcome by a strong feeling that someone or something is watching you. I mean, I think it's always a pretty safe bet to always do this, so let's check the area. Your party fans out with eyes peeled and weapons ready, but through a search of the area, it turns up nothing and clears your mind of any worries that you might have. But the difficulty of combat has definitely increased, so uh, this might be, a, be able to get a bit more real. Let's quickly grab that so we can turn the map uh, into something that we can sell at the marketplace at the end. For people who don't know, after the last update, if you clear an entire dungeon and go to every single space, it then gives you a map of the entire area that you can then sell to the marketplace for a set amount of money depending on the scores of the cave, which is very, very handy. Yep, I'll take a key. Don't be a trap. <laughs> it's always a trap. Yeah, alright, cool. Well, we might be camping a bit sooner rather than later. On the plus side is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm playing pretty fast and loose with these traps again. Do not fail 90%. God, it's a good thing we've got all these tools. It is traps of plenty around here. So much so that... Hiya. Oh, alright. That's actually quite handy. You found a torn section of the map revealing two points of interest in the area. Okay, so there's some camping points and then there's more ore that way. In that case, I will use the scouting thing for there. That is a fight. Good. We might be able to surprise them. I don't think I'm probably going to heal much here. Although, you need to now be fixed up, so don't worry about it. Let's actually get, do that because you're actually a little bit weaker than the average person. So, I don't want you to die because you've got a lot less health than everyone else. We have some healing abilities in the fight itself. What do we got? Standard wielders, some Nullby Stalkers. Um, let's maybe move Theodore away from, you know, the big group. I feel kind of mean doing that. I think this is a pretty good start. I would call that a good setup. Yes. Huh. Can you just basically kill it already? I feel like that's kind of a waste to do that. But at the same time... No, I think it's a waste. I'll, I'll figure it. I'll figure out a better way. Like this! With the power of music. That's going to be too far away. Not too worried. Let's get this rocking and rolling. I know you're immune, but don't worry about it. Because you're just going to get locked down anyway. Way too far. That's fine. Right, well, if they, like, stack up, I can probably do some AoE abilities that Zack does have. So he can do some Zack attack. Fingers crossed. Where you are, our Rust. Doing fine. Right, he's gone. See you later. Oh god, there is more friends coming. But they are from the other side of the map, so that's alright. Let me just heal. I think this heals two people next to us, isn't it? So let's actually get this next to... Hmm. Let me try and plan this. So if I stand here... Will this come in? Yes. Right. I think I should be able to make it so Zack moves into the position that I want him to. And then we can do that so he heals as well. Fingers crossed. And then otherwise I can... I don't think anyone else really needs healing other than yourself, Arnold. So you know what? Let's do that. That should be just fine. Oh, you're the one with all the help, is it? Oh, no, it happened before. Never mind. It's all right. Worst things. Worst things in that. So I block. These guys are miles away. You're just going to keep playing with yourself. Cool. Ruse. Let me just... Technically do some, like, cutting words. And let's get on with our Fists of Fury. Got almost straight dead as well. Nice. 
Now, I should be able to line it up so I've at least injured these two to the point that Zach should just be able to finish them off. Fingers crossed. These guys, once again, I think they're a bit too far away. See if I can make that explode in a second. That'll be cool. So, Heat Wave is not burning Rust to death, which is always nice. Oh, I was going to make that explode. Bro. All right, fine. Hey, that's going really well. And then if you kill that one with that shot, then line that one up. Very good. I don't think they can reach us from here, so that's not to worry about there. Let's get a shield up on you. Can I finagle my way around here? I think I can. Wildfire is really cool. Infernal Pillar is also cool. It's all pretty cool. You know what? I'm going to wait. I'm actually going to wait. I've changed my mind. Let's see where they all end up sitting. And then I'll see what I can do with Zack. Yeah, that's fine. 64 damage is basically nothing. You're restrained. You're going to move in a pretty precarious position. Man, Zack with his blocking. Fantastic. Right, Infernal Pillar, these bad boys, please. Uh, do you want to just... Maybe not do it again. Maybe do Wildfire. So what's Wildfire? Targets three cells in a direction. Fire terrain, which lasts for five turns. I'll take it. I don't think that's going to matter too much. Let's get you out of harm's way a bit. I don't think there's going to be an insane amount of... Right, so I think there might be two more, maybe, in this whole area, so... I don't think we need to worry too much in that regard. And then... You're probably going to die from the fire, but I just want to be sure. Nah, mate. Oh, you know what? That's actually a very smart AI move. I didn't think about that. Fair, fair play, game. Fair play. Gotta give you some props there. But, no. Get away. God, you got a lot of health. You have now become public enemy number one. And you will pay for your sins. See ya. Right. Okay, now we're starting to hit the health a bit. You're no longer having an issue. Let's get you healing fast up. Let's just shoot you. Shoot you, sir. And then seal the deal. And you should be able to... Oh, actually, there you go. Can I get a refund on that healing trance, please? I didn't actually use it. Arnold's almost leveled up. Good job. So yeah, two out of three... There's the third one, so we shouldn't have to worry too much about any more fighting per se. Although there is, the last one's going to have some serious reinforcements. Ooh, chest. Give me the chest. I've got the key. I've got the secrets. This is definitely booby-trapped, but it's not beyond my expertise. But it's a good thing we have the key. Scroll Vitality 3 and 200 gold. Nice! Let's see what's in this chest. Chest for days. Iron times three. This must have been left behind when the mine was abandoned. Lucky for us, Iron Player will no doubt be pleased. I mean, as long as they give us, you know, more, that's fine. We're getting paid an okay amount, but it's always good to have more. Do I have e enough tools? I do have enough tools. Everyone grab a shovel. You buy sets of digging, having debris well clear of the path and enabling you to continue ahead. Great stuff. An ancient inscribing marks the wall ahead, though its meaning eludes everyone in your party. Well, I can't make heads or tails of this, are kids? Anyone feeling brave? Well, let's see what magic it concerns. Choose a character to interact with the runes. Well, I mean, Zach, you're already looking pretty biffed up, so in the case that it heals you, there you go. Zach steps up and places their hand on the runes, whose soft glow momentarily intensifies the hum before fading entirely. Zach's gear is being fully repaired. Okay, all right, that's not bad. And then let's grab that. Grab the all perfect stuff. 
I think I will end up camping there, because we don't usually use these places, but I think I finally will use said place. Don't be a trap. God, more places to unlock. Use the key. Scroll of backstabbing. Adds 14% to the flanking damage bonus. We are finding some damn good scrolls today. Okay, I'm going to camp, and then we'll go back and do this bit, and then go down here. If you want to risk camp without risk, I suggest we do it here. Let's rest here for a bit. Campsite risk 0%. Man, that's nice. We've never actually used these before. So let's get on with vitality and stamina. Mind is also really good. Uh, can I just pick all of them? Why not? Why not? I'll just pick all of them. Where's the risk otherwise? And nobody has to even be on lookout. This is nice. Everybody should be more or less back to normal. And they are. Perfect. Quickest camp I've ever done. Right then. Let's get up here and let's get with the fight. Although, thirst. Everyone loses 15 morale. Not too much of an issue to say that we were basically at max after that camping. So I'm not going to complain too much. Let's see what's in here. Receive tools. Honorable. These items did him a little good. Poor soul. Ah, oh, rust. The lamentations of rust. It's alright, buddy. He probably died honorably. Maybe. Well, anyway, let's get in this fight with these enemies that probably killed the guy we just found. But uh, don't tell rust that. He'll just get really sad about it. Okay, a lot of enemies just in the area. Just, it's quite, this is a weirdly open map. Usually like loads of, hmm. It just, it just looks weird. I just think it looks weird. All right, well, whatever. Let's get rocking and or rolling. This will be, this should be the last fight to be fair, unless there is a fight next to the, um, the ore, which I don't think there is, but I guess we'll find that out together. All right, Overwatch please. Understandable. That's a lot of damage. God damn, that's a lot of damage. Well, let's stand there. Let's get the... You've already got a damage shield on us. So you know what? Let's not waste that just yet. How close are you guys going to get? How close do you guys dare to get? Sayonara! I mean, the first one killed it. Oh, uh, don't put Theodore in the middle of this lion's den. That's not on. That, on the other hand, is very much on. Merc it. Alright, you know what to do, buddy boy. Go ham. Full ham. You almost went full ham. I'll take it. Uh, you're a problem. Yes, confirmed, you're a problem. Man, that's a lot of damage. Let's see what I can do with... I think I'm going to heal Rust, so actually, let's do that. Let's bring him back online a bit. If you know you're going to be a little bit stuck, but I trust that you'll probably live. Let's just make sure you do, eh? And then let's give it to Adira as well. Articarma up. It's the last... Uh, it's probably the last fight anyway, so it shouldn't be the end of the world if we take some injuries here and there. Shouldn't be the end of the world. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, please. Just finish it off, will you? I need you on either side, please. Thank you. Can you get here instead... And then do Infernal Pillar. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. I think you can only shoot this one, can you? Alright. Are you going to smack? Bloody hell, that was a lot of damage. Like, okay, bro. Chill, literally. Okay! Suddenly a little bit worried. I mean, he is technically flanked, so there is that. He's also poisoned. Zack's having a day. I think it's I think it's known as in the business as he's having a day. So let's give him a hand. Or two. Just, just keep laying into this one. It's fine. You'll kill it eventually. Oh, yeah, fine. You also got rid of the, um... 
the status effect on the floor. So actually, you've done you've done me a favor. Cheers, bro. I'll drink to that. Bye. And you just straight up missed, right? The evasion is coming in clutch. Can you just hit it with your loot and knock it out? <laughs> you love to see it. You really love to see it. Yeah, Rusko, help out there. Nice one. And now you're cleared off to do damage to that one and crit it. Perfection. All right. Now it's just a game of not being stunned, apparently. But that's fine. Let's seal the deal. Nice one. Right, Arnold leveled up and by quite a bit as well. I think he deserves it after that one. He kept everyone alive. Uh, Theodore, you're not looking so hot. So there you go. Ah, oh, to be fair, I already fixed that anyway. Let's just fix up our, everybody else. How's everyone's morale doing? I think I'll probably keep the rest just to sell it off. Arnold, on the other hand, let's get you leveled up. Let's get your health up to 427. Very good. Evasion would be quite handy as well, so you're not getting smacked all the time. And then five. I think accuracy can go in. Yes. Perfect. So what's this? So flanking damage and... Ooh, having health would actually be really good for some of the backliners who don't quite have it. That might be handy. Uh, the Serenade... Gain 10 speed for duration. Increase range. Increase range. Okay, not really too much there. Sunder... Done. So he stuns them and sunders them. Stuns and sunders. Damn. I'll take that. Right, down we go. Almost done. Off to the objective. Yep, use the tools. Grab that stuff. We'll stay for a second because I just want to go through here and grab the last bit. I should. It's a good thing these keys are once again skeleton keys. Let's crack on in here. Haven't found anything famed, which is a bit of a shame unless we get that at the end. Although this is a three score contract and it said two and above. So there's a small chance, but not an exact chance. This should come in handy. Let's extract the tools. Tools greatly speed up the process, and you manage to extract a little iron from the vein. We have found a lot of extra iron, but now we've done all the encounters, we have done all the tiles explored, we've got the key, we've got the secrets, we we're also going to get the map because we've explored the whole damn thing. Let's get out of here. Mission success. Good job, everyone. Uh, did we have any more level up? I feel like we got pretty close to people leveling up. Theodore's not having the best of times, and I should probably send him in to go and get a little bit healed. But hey, is what it is. Adira is also looking a lot better in terms of her experience. What's that? That's what we found there. Okay. I don't see anything famed. I feel like I'd know if I saw it, but not to worry. And then we got an extra 200 XP because we've got a scholar. Perfect. Let's get out. How's everyone doing? Everyone's grand. Let's get to Waverton. You'll probably all be fine by the time we get to Waverton unless, you know, we get rumbled in the middle of the way. But I think we're, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Okay, let's enter the city. Let's get this handed in. I don't know if we'll get any extra because of all the extra iron that we found, or I can just sell it anyway. Let's see what we say. Did you get what I asked for? Wasn't easy, but we managed. Slaps his hands together with joy, producing a cloud of dirt. He walks over to inspect the crate of iron, quickly peeking inside to inspect the contents. So you did. I had a good feeling about you lot. He yells at his apprentice, instructing them to bring one of the weapons he promised you. Ah, here you are. He gives it a quick inspection before handing it over. It ain't my best work, but it'll serve you well, I suspect. We see Pike. Interesting. Um, we have some regular iron too, if you're still interested. I am indeed. I can't pay a full price, but it's a fair one. I'll be sure to sing your praises around town. Alright, so we'll get a better, uh, relation with the town as well, which I'm always here for. Yeah, sounds good to me. Sell it. He hands you a pouch of coins. Thank you for this. So it's that 132 for each one. And then 20 with the citizens of Aveton. Good stuff. God, now we're on four grand. And I can sell this other iron that you just armed off to me for 147 highest score you can get in snooker well technically and then i'll sell the map for 315 good damn god damn right now the pike is epic is it better than what everyone else has got pristine so actually no it might be worth selling it at least i'll get some money out of it because i don't think rosling will be used doesn't use pikes and nobody else will honestly Thanks for the weapon, but unless it's better than the pike I've already got, which I assume it's not, there's no, like, differences to it, no? No, I'm just going to sell it. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm on five grand. You know what? I think I will buy that better bow now. Heavy Warbow, Masterwork, plus 12 accuracy. 
was 14% crit chance. That's crazy. Sure, I'm in. And then we'll repair everything. Let me get this bow equipped on to Adira. Good stuff. Flanking bonus, gear durability. Is that just weapons or is that just, just regularly? Well, let's make it so the heavy war bow doesn't actually, like, break anytime soon. So, that's now got a ridiculous amount of endurability. Uh, flanking bonus isn't going to work too much with ranged anyway, I don't think. Who's got... Have you got the least amount of health? You do. So, let's actually give you the vitality scroll. Oh, wow. Yes. Very much so. You're now, like... You're now stacking up with everyone else. That's great. And then we've got flanking bonuses. So is that with the weapon? Yes. Well, the other pike was better from what I recall, which Zach has, correct? So I think let's give him the better flanking bonus because he's like in the front of it more often than not. And then I'll give a lesser flanking bonus to, let's say, Rust. Yeah. I would say that's pretty solid. Everyone's a little bit fatigued. We've still got four grand even after buying that bow, which is great. There's not really much else to buy here. And I'm just going to sell that quickly. So I think we're actually in an amazing position. We didn't find anything fame, which is a bit of a shame. I will quickly assign the new job to someone if I can. I don't know if I can just because I don't have any renown points currently. So say, for example, I've now got Field Medic. Can use provisions without ending my turn. Range of use provisions, mending plus six would be pretty handy. But that would be better for, like, Rosalind, for example, who does do a lot of healing. So if I went to Rosalind and went Field Medic, learn job. Oh, yeah, because it kind of said that you might need upgrade points to then apply the jobs, but it seems like you can just do it anyway. So Rosalind is now our field medic and can use provisions without ending their turn, and the range of use provisions has increased to two. I'd call that a big win, and I would say that is a pretty good place to leave it for the first episode of checking out the next update for the for expeditions in the Iron Oath. I enjoyed that very much, and I hope everyone out there did as well. As always. With, this, with the new update, I probably will be covering this for a few more episodes again, just so we can see some famed items, and also quite likely all the new company moments already that we've seen in this episode as well. So as always, if anyone would like a character of any class, let me know in the comments below or on the Northern Discord, and I can get you in by the next episode if possible. Otherwise, enjoy this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more than there that you will enjoy, and there's a few more series coming up in the short term. Fingers Rust. If you can't wait till then, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. See you next time we're going out in Iron Earth. You'll know as well as any other series to come. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Until next time.